Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to this week's Oracle and Tarot reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for Pile 1. And if this is the fortune you chose, we have Major Life Change. <clears throat> Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. How exciting. Okay, so a couple things with this. I'm feeling like some of you have already been on the verge, something you've been planning or plotting. And for some of you, this is going to be um, a complete surprise, like boom, out of nowhere. You're going to be presented with some type of uh, opportunity. And whatever it is, as it says, great joy and trouble-free existence. So how amazing is that? I mean, of course, we always have our ups and downs in life. But this is um, a major event for you. This is something, again, some of you have been wanting, desiring, working towards. And for others, it's just going to be a complete surprise. And I don't feel like there's going to be any issues with sometimes when our lives suddenly shift. Um, it can make us want to pause and reflect or maybe have some fear issues come up or triggers but that's not going to be the case like this is going to be a very joyous event for you and the next card into the unknown how perfect so this is absolutely completely new for you and you're ready for it. Um, she's blindfolded, but look at look behind her. Look at that rainbow. So that is a major, again, a major sign event happening for you. Time to move forward. You're ready for this. Even though it's completely all new territory, you're not fearful. This is just complete joy, excitement. Um, something you're ready for even if you didn't know it it just presents itself and it just feels right like you know this is meant to be meant for you and peaks of joy okay joy coming up a second time joy under joy and peaks of joy I feel like this is going to be um, as I just said we have our ups and downs but I feel like whatever this is, it is again a, a very strong feeling of a life purpose, a soul purpose, and peaks of joy you're going to be experiencing. Maybe in the past, sometimes our lives are up and down. It can be frustrating. We're not sure why it happens. We might try to control it. But because this is the perfect and right thing for you, I feel like the ups and downs are still going to be fantastic. They're going to be amazing. Constant peaks of joy on this path. And look at that number 33. And number 7, I forgot. 7 is also seen as luck. Uh, and 33, master builder. So this is a new life presented and you are building and you're going to be going up and down, but every peak, every, whether it's a high peak or low peak, it's just going to bring so much joy and pleasure in your life. So very exciting. And spirit of place. Okay, just a second, I'm getting a couple messages. Oh, 555 five, five on the timer. And I believe fives represent change. Uh, number four so spirit of place um, the first thing coming through I feel like you have there's some type of I don't want to say spiritual awakening but you have a deeper connection with things you see your visions are more like um, let me see how to explain this um, your intuition, your visions, your dreams, things that you see that might have felt um, might have felt as if it was a long way off or you might not have been capable. Like you're just feeling really connected with the divine. You're in that uh, divine flow for lack of a better word here. And uh, the spirit of place, what you're creating, what you're doing, you're putting your soul, your spirit into this you are anchoring in 
that energy that the earth needs, whatever this is. The things that we do that we love is what makes the biggest difference in our lives and in the world of 7-7 seven, seven on the timer. How interesting. And so I feel like, you know, this divine connection with everything around you, with what you're doing, the roots that you're setting down, the peaks of joy you're experiencing is just so amazing and expansive into the world and how you're affecting others. So let's grab the tarot and see what else we have to reveal. And truth, look at that. This is your truth, you're living your truth. Uh, King of Swords. <clears throat> Structure, routine, intelligent, rational, logical power, authority, strings, manners, conversation, discerning, detached head over heart, and unemotional, analytical man of authority who makes balanced judgments and gives excellent advice. Okay, so this is perfect with what you're doing. Um, you are seen as... Um, someone that has it together, someone that knows what they're doing. People will be coming to you for advice to find out how you were able to achieve and accomplish. Um, you have, again, you're connected to that divine purpose and all of the support around you in a way that you haven't. So, and you have learned and grown so much. You make the right, I don't want to say right, you make the choices that you know will yield the biggest um, the biggest uh, uh, the biggest achievements the biggest rewards um, the most or the highest potential that you can offer and receive and dreams solar plexus oh, and that was sorry third eye again connecting with that higher consciousness um, Dreams, solar plexus, seven of cups, seven coming through a third time. Lots of options, choices, multiple possibilities, opportunities, picking and choosing, decisions, procrastination, dreamy, fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, imagination, hallucinations, meditation. Okay, and look at all seven cups are filled with these beautiful choices. And um, remember how I was saying earlier, some of these things that you were desiring might have seemed very far away or maybe they weren't going to happen or it would take a while and this is saying it's all happening it's all coming you have more than one choice you have several choices you are strong in your power you are courageous you're moving forward um, you're living in a very dreamy fantasy like state which some people might consider you know, when people don't understand the law of attraction or just the overall general flow, uh, they might see it as an illusion, wishful thinking. Um, they might think you're silly, but you know, living in that childlike wonder is what gets it done. Living in that joy and that happiness and all of your dreams are coming true. Beautiful. And action, solar plexus again. Eight of Wands, eight, infinite abundance. Hastiness, speed, progress, movement, actions, rushing, existing, oh, I'm sorry, exciting times, travel, freedom, holiday, holiday romance, taking off, gaining momentum ahead, thinking on your feet, hard work, paying off results, solutions, energetic. So again, this is confirming all of the hard work is paying off. All of your dreams are coming true. All of this effort that you have put in, or even if it's just spur of the moment, something happening, it's, I'm hearing, um, sometimes we receive things that we want without even realizing it. And some of you are going to be taking a vacation, taking a little time off to just celebrate and enjoy this moment before you push forward. Very exciting. Let's see what your last three messages are. Look at that, thank you. And the flowers are purple. So higher consciousness, I feel like the universe, the guides, creator, they are thanking you for all the hard work you put in, for all of the experiences that um, spirit has lived and experienced and learned through you. 
thank you for all of this work that you have done and continue to do. And again, purple coming through. I love that because here's third eye, purple. Again, higher consciousness, a mountain. The best view comes from the hardest climb. So again, confirmation. That's why a lot of this or all of this is happening, coming forward. You have put the work in. You never gave up. You had faith. You believed that it was possible, and it is. And now it's all happening and coming together for you. And the last message love overcomes every obstacle so i feel like this is something you have learned this has been another help and you are the lighthouse again people see you as a strong person a successful person and you have been able to forgive yourself you've been able to forgive others you just see obstacles as fun or new lessons a new approach a way to try something so life is never boring it's always exciting for you so those are your messages for the week. I hope they are helpful. Oh, I hope they are helpful. Good luck on your path. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Sat Nam. Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to this week's oracle and tarot reading. Let's see what messages the universe has for pile number two. And your fortune cookie. Luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Okay, so let's find out more about this. Some type of luck. Number 51, Moonlight. And we have a full moon, so a new beginning for you. Um, a project, perhaps. Whatever this networking, it doesn't necessarily have to be around that. It could be anything, something you've been thinking about or working on, something new, new beginning, um, the end of a cycle. And also uh, we have an owl up here. So I feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom through whatever this is. Um, it may have felt like it was never gonna happen, but it's about to come into fruition. It's starting to take off. And also I'm hearing um, moonlight rituals. So for those of you that like to do rituals at night, or if you're a night owl, um, that's the perfect time for you. And I'm sure you're aware of that. So this is just a nice confirmation. Um, also, I'm hearing moon water for some of you. Um, putting water out, there's a whole ritual. There's a lot of videos about that. If you're not familiar with moon water, it's a very healing and good for the body and it's a ritual as well so uh, a new beginning and working with feminine energies and we have encouragement solar plexus okay so with this new luck with this project whatever this is i feel like somebody is going to be coming into your life number 54 and that was 51 sorry i think i missed that so somebody is coming in, a person that you can trust, you may already know who it is, or it could be someone new. Um, they're gonna help guide you, they're gonna counsel you, um, some type of mentor with whatever this is. It's, um, they're gonna show you step by step. So it's not something that you necessarily have to struggle or try to figure out. Everything is coming together in the perfect way to help you with this new creation. And number 39, protecting treasure. And we have, uh, I think it's a fairy. It looks like a fairy queen or something. There's a crown there. And she's protecting some type of treasure. So also protecting, um, not for everybody, but for some of you I'm hearing. Um, this is, whatever this is you're working on, especially in the beginning stages, we always want to kind of keep it quiet because a lot of times people want to uh, give their opinions and try to tell you, you know, things aren't going to work, it's not going to happen, just because they don't see your vision and they don't believe they can do it. You know, they want to put that out to other people. So just protecting what you're doing, being cautious, 
also um, I think maybe that's why a mentor is coming in because other people are going to approach you when they find out about this and want to get involved so just be careful protect yourself protect what it is that is evolving that you're working on and that mentor is going to help you so you don't have to worry about anyone taking advantage or anything like that and let's see what the tarot reveal we have number 20 judgment the daily choices i make now align with my life's purpose yes it's all coming together um, and crown crown chakra judgment self-evaluation awakening renewal composure decisiveness homesick snap judgments Apporting blame, affording blame, forgiveness, final reckoning, a final examination as you sow, so shall you reap. So I feel like this is a confirmation with what it's already told us. Um, it's all coming together for you. Um, again, higher consciousness coming in, supporting you, helping you. Um, oops, whoever this person is that's coming in to collaborate with you. Uh, helping you and you're just starting to balance everything out um, you're seeing the overall um, success of this and how it's going to affect you and other people and we have burden root chakra so I love the root chakra and crown chakra both. So I feel like everything is truly balancing out for you. It's all coming together. 10, the beginning of a new cycle. And we had that here. New beginning, a new beginning again with cycle. Overburdened, overloaded, responsibilities, stress, problems, weight on your shoulders, duty, drudgery, obligation, saddled, restriction, burnout uphill struggle taken for granted taking on too much delays okay so i feel like this is more about the past than the present and this is something that you don't really have to worry about because again look at that right under encouragement but also these are lessons that you've learned during this time during this period of growth that you've come into with this luck and to move forward so all of that knowledge will be put forward so you know exactly how to handle it and it won't be a struggle again this time and the last tarot third eye choice two of wands two paths decisions options planning grass is always greener on the other side immigration suddenly leaving deciding to stay or go waiting anticipation restlessness detachment withdrawn wanderlust okay so i feel like a lot of you are going to be making a decision to completely detach from some of the things in your life this could be a letting go of people of partnerships um this could be a living situation i feel like some of you are going to be because of whatever this is that you're working on you might be um, traveling more or you might just feel like you need to get out in the world sometimes we get an urge to do something and we don't always know why because we're listening to our heart we feel that guidance that urge inside listening to your dreams your visions with third eye and crown while staying grounded so for some of you this is going to be a major change in your life um, nothing disruptive it just feels right like this is the time to do what it is you've been wanting to do and letting it go just feels so natural and so good for you all right let's see what your last three messages are <clears throat> We have a nice pot of tea with some herbs and flowers. I think that looks like hibiscus and daisies. Get well soon. Okay, so if some of you have been struggling with some type of health issue, or maybe you have been dealing with somebody that had a health issue, this could be about walking away from that as well. But I feel like whatever this is or whoever, this is coming to an end as well. There's a healing happening with that information. So not to worry and you've got this and I like that that again came out on solar plexus all of that yellow and we've got those little ribbons right there you've got this you know this you're confident you're ready for this change 
and oops on the encouragement card by the way find joy in the journey again journey and travel coming up under the same two cards for some of you yes you're going to be traveling quite a bit or taking a vacation and this is something you've learned along the way instead of being frustrated or seeing or thinking of ways uh, that you have in the past you've learned you've grown and you find joy in the journey it's not necessarily about the end result that's probably why the luck card is coming in as well you've completely changed your way of thinking of handling things it's more fun for you it's more of an adventure lovely so those are your messages for the week i hope they are helpful good luck on your path highest blessings and infinite gratitude satnam hello beautiful and magnificent beings welcome to this week's oracle and tarot reading let's see what messages the universe has for pile number three and your fortune cookie let's see we have romance love is set to sizzle the chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection wow okay interesting because i don't I've never specifically done or had readings about romance or relationships, not like this. So let's see what is going on. So you might be a single person or you might be um, getting out of a relationship and looking for something different for you. Number 15, one ring circus. Okay, we have a single lady on an elephant on a platform. So getting lots of attention and oddly, I don't know why, but if you can see, let me hold that up closer. That looks like Cindy Lauper <laughs> to me. So that, I don't know if that's a significant message for you, Cindy Lauper. Girls just want to have fun. You know, maybe the relationship you were in was not fun or you're looking for fun and you're going to be the center of attention, one ring circus, like this romance. This person is really going to be focused on you. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Uh, travel. I'm hearing travel for some people. Um, what else am I getting? Something unusual about this relationship. This could be a soulmate. It could be a, a twin flame, but I don't get twin flames so much. I know those are more complicated, but this is all about fun and being seen and being heard number 29 coming to life yes okay so um there's a butterfly down there transformation looks like a fairy holding some sort of light like she's looking down she's shining the light on you bringing you to life this person this partner whatever this relationship is so far it's just really good it's what you desire it was what feels needed it's going to bring you to life it's going to be very exciting that coming through again now is your time to shine and number 36 commitment look at that wow and the star is being handed down look how she has the star holding the light shining it down the star wish fulfillment dreams coming true a commitment maybe that's what you're looking for maybe some of you want to get married or to be engaged or just a committed partner some of you are going to be receiving that passing that light on how exciting okay so let's see what the tarot reveal number 11 new beginning and heart chakra how appropriate justice i get what i give justice karmic justice consequences legal dispute law truth honesty integrity cause and effect life lessons contracts binding agreements settlements and apology decisions needing to maintain justice law and order okay now usually with the justice card i feel like Sub, some type of retribution uh, if you've been wrong things are being worked out or cleared up that isn't exactly for some of you maybe but with this card I'm getting more of where it's talking about I get what I give because you're a very loving partner you're very giving I feel like this is about and remember how I said you're coming to life 
uh, you're getting all this attention on one, um, one ring circus because of the type of person you are, the love you give, the companionship, the trust, um, you're very unconditional. That is what you're going to be receiving, which goes very well with commitment. So it's not about, well, getting what you deserve, yes, but because you put the work in and the type of person that you are and with a very open heart or a heart healing for some of you. Oops. And the second tarot, <clears throat> Knight of Cups. So a knight on a horse, how funny. <laughs> and look at that, heart chakra again. Yes, creative expression. And let's see, um, romantic proposals, oh my God. Offers, invitations, taking action, following your heart, attraction, dating, affection. I mean, could this, <laughs> crazy. Uh, so synchronistic. Uh, following your heart, attraction, dating, affection, your ideal man or woman, as that's a confirmation from what I said earlier, an amiable, intelligent young person full of new ideas and proposals. Wow, so confirming, yes, again, this is the mate, the person that you've been waiting for, longing for, working towards, hoping, desiring, it's all coming together for you. Wow, very exciting. And the last tarot, leadership and third eye, king of wands, being in charge, decisiveness, independence, loyalty, optimism, impulsiveness, unexpected income, someone who inspires others to create achievement. Okay, so this person is, uh, this partnership, this also goes beyond love for some of you. It's about achieving something together, creating a business together. Um, unexpected income, this could be, um, what am I getting with this? This person also, I feel like, is going to care for you. Like in a, in a materialistic, a financial way, if you so choose to allow it, you don't have to, of course, but I feel like this person is bringing so much. I mean, it's revealed up here, the partnership that you desire, the love, the way you wanna be treated and seen, but also financially, like this person can fully and completely support you if you choose to allow that. And again, building a business together of some sort, uh, being in charge, but balance, like there's give and take is equal. Wow, okay, so let's see your last three messages and look at the colors, how similar on those two. I love it. Chosen and loved, look at that. <laughs> so you are being chosen and loved, One Ring Circus, Justice, put, getting back what you have put in. You are chosen, you are loved. Smile, sparkle, shine, yes. And I like that the bubbles, because she's holding something round here and lit up that looks like a crystal ball, shining a light. This person's really lighting you up. You sparkle, you shine, you're just such a loving, giving person and getting this back in return is just really making you shine. And look at that broken crayon, still color. And I feel like for some of you, this is about uh, because we have the heart coming through twice, open and giving, and I feel like for some of you this is about a healing. You know, when we go through relationships we feel sometimes broken, like we'll never heal. Broken crayon, still color. You will heal, you will get better, you can still love. And I feel like that's a lot of, a big lesson for many of you, you come out of that. Um, you felt like maybe you were never going to find the right person, that things weren't going to work out for you, but this is saying that's not true. No matter where you are, you still have the ability to love and to be loved, and you've grown through that. That's why this beautiful relationship is coming in for those of you that were doubtful. You've healed, you've worked through it. It's all coming together. It's been worth the struggle. So those are your messages for the week. I hope they are helpful. Good luck on your path, highest blessings, and infinite gratitude. Satnam.